Well, the subject tonight, gentlemen and ladies, is Ed Miliband. Um, does David Axelrod need to make a new political narrative for him, or is it a personal narrative? How does he need to move things on? I think a bit of both. I think uh, he definitely has, you know, this question of image, Miliband's makeover, as uh, Phil's paper was talking about today. Uh, clearly, undeniably, he has an image problem. We see some of those polling, although we shouldn't exaggerate it. I mean, Peter Kellner talked about gravitas and uh, looking prime minister. I always find a problem with this. The best way to look prime minister is to be... like an undergraduate. I know, but the best way... You always have this polling about looking prime minister. The best way to look prime minister is to be prime minister. And that helps David Cameron, obviously. And this whole idea of gravitas. We in the media are obsessed with leaders. And actually, if you look at the academic evidence, if you look, talk to people like Vernon Bogdan or John yeah. Curtis, British academics who study this, they say, actually, people don't vote on the base of leaders. We don't have a presidential system. Journalists, we love debating this stuff, but, who's up, who's down. But, actually, it doesn't affect the outcome of the next election, to be honest. But Lorraine Candy, there he is, a, he a behind in polling in the economy, and yet yes. he thought he was going to break through on cost of living. He was punting that, but he still hasn't managed to, he hasn't managed to make a narrative out of that. That's been stopped dead in its tracks. I think we don't want to get distracted by the image elements of it. It's an important part but it's not the most important mm -hmm. part you know he is what he is he came across it he came out in one poll as, as being very honest the public said they felt he was honest now I would think that is a positive thing mm -hmm. for someone who's talking to the public about cost of mm -hmm. living you want honesty around that and what he looks like and what he wears is incredibly important but it's not the only thing nobody ever has an image problem who doesn't have a problem underneath it. And I'm a much bigger fan of Ed's than you appear to be, Medi, because I think he's very good at getting his message out. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. His message is the problem. Underneath it, it's not that he's unable to articulate what he thinks. I think he's been very clear about his analysis of capitalism. Mm -hmm. He's got a series of retail policies which are very clear and we could enumerate them. So you think pre-distribution, you think him standing at a podium talking about pre-distribution is him getting his message across well. That's actually an important but message about how wealth is distributed. He, he's not no. selling it very well there. Energy prices. Yes, but he made the weather on energy. And then he fell away. He couldn't carry it through as a trajectory. So, so why is that? Well, what, the reason for that is he's got a series of things which are in themselves popular, mm -hmm. which add up to something which is proving not to be popular. The reason for that is he's not a credible messenger mm -hmm. for that story. Would you have said the same about but, but but, but you, At the well, moment, though, he's an no. underdog. Yes. And I think people tend to come... It's a long time before the election in terms of politics and, and voting and, what, and actually what women think. And I keep mm -hmm. being told by everybody what women think over this next year is really, really important. And, what, and, and how does he... I mean, does he appeal to women, actually? I, I think of all of them, he's possibly, possibly could be the most appealing. But we don't know about the women around him. I mean, his wife is incredibly intelligent, incredibly likeable. We don't know that mm. much. Sure. But if a woman sure. like that loves a man like that, then the package, I need to know more about as a That's possible interesting. voter. So actually, the package wasn't just about Obama, it was about Michelle Obama. And the package is yes. also Samantha Cameron. Yes, I, I think right at the you know, for David Cameron, his brand, his image, right at the beginning, the Samantha Cameron in and the family was incredibly important. If you look at the pictures of Ed Miliband with his family in a more relaxed way, in his grey v next to it, really much it, more accessible. We did, we did sort of... That's not actually that's a kind of feminist argument, is it? That's the kind of old-fashioned family argument where the woman also, stands but, behind the man. Well, it's also about how you sell yourself. A prop, you know, Ed Miliband lives in a, we live in a TV age, his three main media advisors, all very good good or all ex-newspaper people unlike David Cameron so there are issues with that just on the point Phil made about substance come on Margaret Thatcher in 1979 was a substantive figure she came to office made radical changes she was seen as shrill weird she trailed Jim Callaghan by 22 points in the polls in a personal approval ratings on the eve of the 1979 election which she won by a landslide well, John Major won more votes than any prime minister in history it, it, Phil was he a charismatic was a moment of obvious national crisis. John Major, it's completely different. And the idea that Ed Miliband can sell himself on the notion of family, given how he won the lead, Labour leadership uh, election, is a family. total it's family. family. You, 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 that, that, that's quite interesting, because I wonder if you think that that lingers. Of course it lingers. Of course it lingers. People really don't know a great deal about it. Do you think anyone's going to vote? Yes, next it, 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 it lingers. Cost of based on <laughs> I, 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 I didn't say that, Mary. I just said it lingers. Well, I don't think it's you're selling him on the notion of family. That's not what he's going to be talking mm. about, is it? His policies aren't just the notion of family. It's an element of it. What I'm saying, as a man who is possibly going under a rebrand with, mm. with someone else in charge, 
it would be good to know more about him personally, to see a more relaxed side you, so he can get that message across. Do you think actually we live in a less political age and a more presidential age in a sense in terms of, you know, you talk about the TV debates. I think we live in a much, much more visual age. Mm -hmm. I, I think women, particularly, and younger voters do everything visually. I mean, even if you're eight or nine, you can change and filter your image that you put out on Facebook and Instagram immediately. We are used to people mm -hmm. changing their images. We're a little bit distrustful of it because we can do it ourselves, but I think it's very important to be aware of that. So how do they respond? Impact. How do they make a trustworthy image? I think they need to make him feel more relaxed. He, he is a very, very intelligent man. I don't want to go to the pub with the man that's going to run the country. I want someone really clever running yes. the country. He I want relaxed. to feel safe. He is relaxed. He, he's actually he very good under pressure. I that. think he's very good under pressure. I think he's a good performer. I think there have been times when he's performed very well. I mean, Medi's right. There have been times when his language has been too complex. But he is starting to distill a story. Now, that means we've got to think, is this the correct story? Why well, is it that, he's, that he doesn't have the credibility? Why are his ratings as a potential prime minister so low? So does, does David Axelrod, in a sense, align him to the Obama story? Here is what David Axelrod has been saying, you know, that, that the Democrats and Labour have different visions to their opponents and share a common goal. And for this reason, 2015 will be a big, important election. Is, is David Axelrod right? Uh, no, I agree. I think this issue is not just about, we talk about growth, it's about uh, who gets the growth. Uh, mm -hmm. We've seen a report this week which showed that this recovery is really about the top 1%, we're seeing an increase in their aftershare tax income. It's interesting on Obama, you know, we talk about who's mm -hmm. leading on the economy, etc. In 2012, Obama was trailing Mitt Romney throughout the election on who voters trusted to run the economy. But he was winning on who they in touch with, who do they trust, mm -hmm. who looks like ordinary people. And he shifted, he did something that Phil would say is anathema, is, is a heresy in modern politics. Obama shifted to the left. He started talking like a left-wing populist. He started talking about inequality, so, tax rises, and it worked. So here we have it. You, know, you, you heard Peter Kellner saying there you know, that you bring in someone that costs an awful lot of money and you think that'll work. Do you actually think that David Axelrod can make the difference between propelling Ed, Ed Miliband to Downing Street or not? I think it's very interesting the point you made about bringing an outsider yeah. and bringing someone who thinks of it in a totally different way and sees mm -hmm. him. You know, Obama is a different thing. There mm -hmm. isn't, you know, if I talk about female voters, there isn't a woman in the country who wouldn't want to go to dinner with Barack Obama. I'm mm -hmm. not sure you could say the same about Ed Miliband at the moment. But I think just someone coming in from the outside with a fresh view of it, and I'm just talking as a, as a voter, potential mm -hmm. voter, is very important. It can twist, but there's Will it make a, a difference? Uh, David, David Axelrod is far too good to think that he can transplant what he did for Barack Obama to Ed mm -hmm. Miliband. That's partly because this is not America, and partly because when Labour's so far behind on the economy, it's the 11th hour. It's too late to change it. Too late? The man Phil Collins worked for, Tony Blair, was 22 points behind John Major in 1997 and won a landslide majority. Thank you all very much indeed. On the economy, he was.